Super Mario Galaxy is the third 3D game in the Super Mario series, following the mega hits and two of my personal favorite video games, Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine. Now, Super Mario Galaxy is actually not among my favorite video games. It's actually not even top 100. Why? Because I've never played it, and that changes today. So hello and welcome back, or welcome for the first time to LP's LP's. I am LP, and I do LP's. For those unfamiliar with the term, LP's are Let's Plays. I play video games, and I talk. A lot. And today I'm talking while playing Super Mario Galaxy on the Nintendo Switch's Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Originally developed and published by Nintendo for the Wii in 2007, Super Mario Galaxy is a platform game beloved by many, and I am excited to share my first experience here with you. So with that said, let's play Super Mario Galaxy. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year that it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great, singular apparently, power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. Should have. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. What does she want to give him? It's either A, a cake, or B, a kiss. It would seem that those are typically the two things that Mario is most uh, eager to receive from the princess. All right, we're playing. And what is happening? We're getting assaulted by stars. I'm not sure what that was. Let's talk to these uh, guard toads here. All the guests are here. Time to party. Mario, you're the last guest to arrive. Glad you can make it. Okay, is, is this the entrance or is this... I think that's the exit. I think that's where we just came from. Uh, hello there! Star Festival is starting, you say. They all seem to be very excited that we're here. We have like a little thing on the screen. Like a star. Ooh! I can be like grabbing stuff from a distance. You see that? We now have seven, ten, eleven, whatever those are. I'm not certain. Maybe it'll, uh... Well, assuredly, it will explain it. This guy wants to actually talk. Can I, can I talk to you? I'm sorry. Sure. Hi, Mario. See this thing I have? Grab as many of them as you can. Oh. As many of them as I can. 25. I sat around for a few minutes. I learned some things about the controls. Uh, as I mentioned a few moments ago, playing on the Switch. So it's not going to have the exact same motion control as the Wii has. And it's nice to know that R resets the receptacle. And L resets the, uh, the camera. Let's go up here. I saw lots of things falling. Yes, these are mine. Thank you. These belong to Mario. These are his star pieces. What's over here? Some sort of scenic overlook. We could just stand here and accumulate this starborn currency, whatever it is. Uh, I guess we'll continue on. It's not made immediately clear to me what we need that for. We should probably also test out the rest of the controls. B is jump, as is A. Uh, X and Y don't seem to do anything. And, oh god! Okay, so... R, Z, R, the, the right trigger button. It, it launches whatever it is that we've been accumulating. Fascinating. So I guess maybe it's not currency? <laughs> Unless we're just throwing dollar bills at people, which probably isn't the right thing to do right now because we're in under assault. Bowser, of course. Who else would it be? I, mean, I shouldn't be surprised. Bowser comes in with a fleet of airborne ships. What is this? Treasure Planet. I guess kind of, right? This is Super Mario Galaxy. There is some level of space exploration. I'm to assume that we're going to undertake. And Treasure Planet is spacey in nature, right? Something like that? <laughs> uh, anyways, we're coming in for a landing. Excellent. You know, it's it's a lot better than the Mario game I just finished, which was Paper Mario. They uprooted the castle in that game. Here, they're only only coming to visit. They're letting it stay. Granted, they are, you know, besmirching the land around it, rot with flame and eh, smoke. Just flame. Yeah, just flame. A little bit of smoke. Mostly flame. Flame's the real danger here. Although smoke inhalation is not to be uh, 
taken lightly. Maybe that's the, what he's after. Princess Peach, you are formally invited <laughs> to the creation of my new galaxy. <laughs> the festival is over. Mm. I, I, was, I was considering giving him a different voice from the Bowser and he did in Paper Mario, but I think I'm going to stick with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that voice. All right, we're back in control. Toads are falling all over themselves. This one is frozen. I don't know how that happened. We just, uh, there was fire and crashing of ships. It is Bowser, indeed. Um, how could it happen? I don't know. Panic and fear, panic and fear. <laughs> all the toads, let's, can't go inside. Um, can we go inside this building? It looks important. No. No, we cannot. Uh, there's probably only the one thing we can do, which is press forward. Is this dude go golden? The Gilded Toad. Telling us to stay calm. All right, buddy. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do here, so we'll move on. The princess is this way. Thank you, Toad. We are still under siege. Goodness gracious. Are we doing anything to defend ourselves? Am I the sole form of defense for the Mushroom Kingdom? All the toads are doing is crying and being frozen. And there's a path over here, but it seems that this is not the way the game wants us to go. <laughs> the camera is not being cooperative. Okay, we'll come back. They really wanted us to just go over the grassy knoll, I suppose. Hello, princess. Uh, one moment, please. I'm, I'll be right with you. I'm just surveying the scene, right? If I'm going to be our only form of defense, I might as well be well familiar with the landscape that I am defending. It's a flying saucer. With three nipples. What's going on here? Is that Bowser? I thought Bowser was on one of the wooden ships. Is this someone else entirely? The nipples are green. Heinous. Oh no, I spoke too soon. Here I was praising them for not removing the castle from the landscape in which it was installed. Nope, they're doing it. They're doing it. I spoke prematurely. It would seem that Bowser has limited, li limited tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> Ah, figures if it didn't work the first time, maybe it'll work the second time. I don't, I don't know that that makes any sense, right? The definition of an insanity is, is to do the same thing over and over, expecting different results. But I suppose there is something to be said about tenacity. So, you know, good, good on you, Bowser, I suppose, for identifying what you want and, well, getting after it with everything you have, even if everything you have is... Not necessarily original every single time. If you're repeating the same plans, I mean, eh, who am I to argue, I guess? Since I'm in charge of rescuing the princess that you're capturing, I probably shouldn't complain if you're going to be using the same sort of tactics. And my god, that's a jumpy spaceship. That's worse than the, uh, the spinny boys in Earthbound when I've been playing. Mario! Yes, it is me. Oh god, it's a Magikoopa. So long. Enjoy your flight. <laughs> ah. No. It hit me! <laughs> How could I have ever seen this coming? Mario flies off into the vacuum of space and suffocates immediately. The end. How sad. Truly, Super Mario Galaxy is a very, a very sad tale. Oh, but it would seem not. Mario instead awakes, awakens in a flowery field by the, the plump star. It is a very pleasant looking fellow. Wow, we're on a tiny planet. Goodness gracious, where the heck are we? It's a bunny. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Come on, jump with B. Yes, okay, well now we learn the controls and we got the, the side jumps and stuff. Can we do like a triple jump? Can we, maybe? Can time it up right? Yes, we can. Hold on, I need to get my, my currency, my, my star coins here. Some up there, can I have those? Thank you. You know, the cursor is very nice. There's a coin! Real currency! Wow, this is kind of wild. Everything's, oh, this is, ooh, <laughs> yeah, this might make me sick. Is there a way to, yeah, there we go, okay. I'm gonna constantly be hammering the uh, the left bumper button because that 
made me nauseous. My goodness. <laughs> oh, I've never had to just cancel an LP, but... Oh, oh, what's happened? Sorry, didn't mean to kill you. I've never had to cancel an LP, but goodness gracious, I am. Oh, gotta throw up. Uh, are you my friends? Are you my friends? I mean, maybe you're my friends. You're not my enemies. You're not talking to me, though. Where is... Where's the bunny that I was finagling with? Where'd you go? There you are! Goodness gracious! Alright, I'm jumping. We... Is this what you want? Are you leading me somewhere? Or do I have to jump a certain amount of times? Oh my god. I'm gonna be ill. I am going to be ill. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Weren't you, like, with the princess? Shouldn't you be, like, more concerned about that? As opposed to, like, playing games? I don't know. I'm not the expert here. You are, apparently. It's like freaking King Kai's planet. Chasing Bubbles and Gregory, except instead of a monkey and a cricket, they are three bunnies. Oh, there's one. Yeah, I found you. Don't know how I found you. I just kind of walked and you were there. I got you. Oh, you caught me. I did indeed. Nah, I knew I should have hidden in the crater. Ooh, the crater, you say. I'm going to get in the crater. Oh, and there was one in the crater. Hello? Your cousin sold you out. Oh, my God. Oh, reset the camera. The camera's still upside down. Oh, Bessie, come on. Just get over here and put me out of my misery, please. <gasps> gotcha. You caught me. Oh, goodness. Oh, if only I'd hidden in the pipe. What, this pipe? Why? Why upside down? Ooh, there they are! Come here, you rodent! I'm gonna take your currency, too. That was a one-up? I didn't imagine that. Maybe we get a one-up once we get to 50. I can't believe I let myself get caught! Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help Mama. Mama? Mama Luigi? Or Princess Peach. Probably Princess Peach. Okay, the, uh... Holy Roman Colosseum has emerged on this planet, and we are rightfully positioned. We are no longer getting motion sick for now. <laughs> Goodness me, I can imagine it might take a while. Hey, I know you, not from this game, but from, like, Super Smash Brothers. This is Rosalina! There we go. Our introduction to the celestial princess with the platinum hair. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. Wait, who is speaking? Is it she? Okay. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Hello, Luma. Whoa, Luma. Luma's entered our body. You now have the ability to spin. Shake the Joy-Con that you're not holding. I'm holding a Pro Controller, I guess. Shake the controller. You can also spin with Y. Okay, maybe that. Maybe that. His asterisk struck us just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope that you can rescue the grand stars. May the stars shine down on you. She's very regal. She's got a certain air about her. I mean, it's also the way that she carries herself, right? With her head held high and her eyes squinted or closed even. Fascinating. All right, friend. Yes. Spin it. Oh, you into things that break. So like this. Boom! Get out of here. I'm breaking the ice, all right? It's an ice breaker. And this is a star. What does that mean? This is a launch star. Shake or press Y when you're near one to shoot through space like a comet. Now go and explore the universe. There are lots and lots of galaxies for you to discover. Okay. So I'm gonna get in the star and it's gonna launch me. Do I aim? Wait, what? Oh, I gotta press it once I'm in there. Okay. Boom! Did I aim correctly? Is there any aiming at all? I don't know. I'm here. I'm on this porous looking planet. Hi there. Well, good to see you. Well, I have some bad news, though. See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but a meteor smashed it up. Uh, y you can't. You can't leave without it, so find all of the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure to not fall in the black hole. 
Thanks for that. That sounds horrifying. <laughs> Falling into a black hole sounds like, I don't know, it's one of the many demises that I would consider unpalatable. Because I guess I, I don't even know what would happen, right? It's a, it's immensely dense, black holes are, at least from what we know of them. Obviously, we've never, well, explored one. <laughs> but I'd imagine what? You'd get crushed and warped in all kinds of disastrous ways. You've earned an additional Mario, and you found the final piece. That wasn't too hard. Little star boy, you could have done that, couldn't you? Punch this space Goomba. All right, launch to the Bumblebee planet, it looks like. I don't know, there's some sort of a stinger here. Okay. So it seems that, that coins are uh, tied to your life, as most Mario games are. Mario, the ultimate capitalist. Money equals health. And as we've stated in other Mario games, I guess it does make sense. Money does equal health, sadly, in the American healthcare system. But still, whatever. Point remains, it's good to know that currency will help us out here. We hit the stinger. What's happening? I don't know if that's doing anything for us. Um, is there anything else over here? Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key. You can spin around them, make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. They're over here? I thought I killed everyone. Because you can spin into them and just kill them, too. Any more Goombas? Oh, that one's not a space Goomba. You a regular Goomba. And you had the key, of course, because you look different. Everyone knows in an evil organization, you give the important stuff to the different looking employees. Thanks. Would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there, too? Well, I'll transform into a sling star. Just jump into me after I transform. Sure. Sure, sure, my boy. There we go. Very nice. I assume that you have the same predicament solved by the same thing, right? Spin enemies, then run into them when they're stunned to boot them. Sure thing. Hey, look at you. If you take damage, grab a coin to boost your life. Thank you. Yes, money is health. Money is wealth. Wealth is health. That's what we're getting at here. Uh, more little giblets. Delicious. Who has the key? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Who has the key? I freaking wonder. Could it be you, Big Bungus? Oh, God. He's, he's killing me. Let me just spin into you. Yeah, a little, little bit. There you go. You were just as strong as your little siblings. Fascinating. I guess what they say is true. You can't judge a book, the size of bananas, the scale of a banana is equal, I don't know, something, you can't do something. But anyways, we have the key. Let's go free this boy real quick. Oh God, I, mm. <laughs> Oh, I keep getting nauseous. There you go. Hurry, down here. Okay, let's go. Are you coming too, friendo? You just hanging out, you gonna stay? Okay. Well, we're on the inside now. Adequately nauseous. We've been waiting for you. That's a grand star. We have to save it. Oh. Indeed we do. They're using the grand star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making... something. We have to do something before the grand star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Okay. Okay. Uh, but what is it doing? You said it's, it's doing something. I mean, that's hardly... An observation. <laughs> Turn off the flip switches on the floor to shut down this machine. Okay. Is turning them blue mean off? Or what? No? Maybe? Maybe there's a particular uh, pattern we have to get it to. Maybe every other. I don't know, but there's probably going to be something that tells us. So there's a, a yellow one right here. Should all of these be yellow? And there's another yellow one here. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, I have an idea. And maybe I should have tried this a different way prior to this, but whatever. We're, we're gonna do it some way, somehow, there we go. Uh, I wanna go step on this. Will this turn blue if we step on it? It will, okay, so we've gotta get like, ah, uh, there's more than just down there. Good, good, good. I'm glad that hurt. It was very nice. Um, but how many more? That's the question. I'm guessing one more after this. I really have no 
sense of like scale as to how big this is. It's just endless for all I know, but nope, they're all good now. We've terminated the actions of the machine and released the Grand Star. Very nice. And got rid of those electrical things too as well. That's a win-win for all parties except for the Goombas, I guess, and the things that are no longer in existence. Perfect, you got a Grand Star, our first one. And as I understand it, at least from my experience in other 3D Mario games, there should be 120 of them. I, I don't know for certain that I'll be able to accumulate all of them, but I'll try. I just don't know how difficult that'll be. Uh, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, I have completed those to 100%, and those were not really all that difficult, so if this follows in those same footsteps, then yeah. But I guess we will cross that bridge when we come to it, and look at this. Is this like our, our hub now? There's lots of the little star boys. Fascinating. And it's not round. Thank God for that, all right? Because my stomach is still a little sour. <laughs> you got a star. Grand Star Rescue. Gateway Galaxy. High score updated 13. You've increased your star bit count to 57 and discovered a new galaxy as well. The Terrace Galaxy. I clicked on it. What does that mean? I don't know. It opens up a cutscene. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a Class 6 star, but at least the poor Loomis will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Loomis. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every hundred years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Dang! Please. That's significant development. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And... There is a chance we can use our remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one. The Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then, perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Sure! Save the game. Excellent. We have accomplished exactly one and a half things. Let's check out the terrace. What does that have for us? I'm tempted to check out the rest of this, but we are, you know, obligated. Read. If you need to rest, press plus. Choose quit to save your progress and take a rest. If you need to check the controls, press minus. You can review the basic controls and special actions there. Helpful. All right, let's enter the terrace. Welcome. This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a pull star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your cursor at the pull star and press A. If you lose sight of the cursor, you can reset it with R. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can just tap the thing on the screen. <laughs> And that's the noise of transformation. Aim at it and press A. Grabs you the force field and boom, look at this. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. And the more power stars you find, the further that you'll be able to travel. Fascinating. So we have exactly one accessible, right? This one, I'm guessing, because we have the one star. Perfect. That is the good egg galaxy. I'm a good egg. I'm a good egg. Yes, it's undeniable we're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Fascinating. Well, we're not going to go there just yet because I want to explore the rest of the observatory. At least a little bit, right? We didn't even do anything. We just came right over here to the terrace and that's not fair to the rest of the place. What do we have here? 
Nothing. Uh, just more dizziness, which is excellent. Uh-huh. We have a walkway here. The camera is kind of acting autonomously. Another little launch boy that says we can't go up there. Okay, I'm guessing once we have accumulated some more stars, we'll be able to. Probably once we've accumulated enough to get all of the planets out of the terrace, assuredly. And then over to the east, I guess, what is this east? What's east on a planet like this? I don't know. Uh, I think we landed over here. Yeah, this is where we came in. The garage! It's down there, but we're already up here, so we can go up here. Wow, this is a dark, soulless looking place. <laughs> this is scary. You guys put us some street lights or something. This is very much not on brand for the rest of your establishment here. Everything's so bright and colorful, and this is just bricked off. Fascinating. Well, one can assume that we are going to need to kill ourselves. Uh, <laughs> one can assume that we're going to need to gather more stars. Even more than we need for the, like, the ledge-looking place, I'm guessing, because this is not even illuminated. I would assume that once we get closer to opening this area, it will get illuminated and we'll progress. I don't know. We'll see. Can we long jump? We can long jump. Now it's time to check out the gay rouge. And see what, what kind of vehicles we have there. It's a star? Interesting. There's lots. <laughs> there is a lot going on here. Lots that we don't have access to. Garage, your one-stop shop for intergalactic starship repairs. Mm, I, don't, I don't have one of those. I'm going to break your box those out. Thank you. Tally-ho. I hope you guys enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'll enjoy your mushroom that you were keeping in the crate. Awesome. Well, I guess the only thing we can do is go check out Good Egg Galaxy. But we're going to do that next time. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.